Hi, it's Freshy with another Lost Ark Legion Raid Guide. In this video, I'm going over every mechanic, patterns and notable attacks in Cuckoo Sadon Gate 2. Before we start with the mechanics, few important things about the raid. As in Gate 1, you still have Madness Meter, which fills up when you get hit by the boss attacks. 50% Madness Meter makes you shoot out a laser every time you get hit, and at 100% Meter you transform into a puppet that has 3 new skills. Q debuffs the boss, while W and E reduce the meter for other party members. Similar to Walton, Cuckoo Sadon Gate 2 also has the arena mechanic, which means certain attacks can knock you off of the map. Recommended battle items for Gate 2 are Dark Grenade, Swiftness Rope or Time Stop Potion and a Health Potion. At 125 bars, Sadon appears. Cuckoo ropes up and disappears, dropping circus balls. Sadon appears in the dealer position of the table. Be careful of all of the patterns used by Sadon, as they can knock you off of the map. Refer to Sadon patterns later in the video to learn all of his patterns that can knock you off. At around 110 bars, Curtain of Madness mechanic starts. Boss vanishes and appears in the middle of the table. Sadon will use Gaze pattern after Cuckoo appears in the middle, so make sure you face away from the Gaze first. After that, either 4 red and or blue circles appear on the table, 2 on each side. You need to assign players 1 and 2 to the left side and players 3 and 4 to the right side. For blue circles, only one person can stand in it and for the red circles, two players must stand in it to survive. In this case, the circles are blue, blue, red, blue, which means player 1 and player 2 stand in each blue circle on the left, while player 3 and player 4 both need to stand in the red circle. Example of a different pattern of a blue, red, red, blue, which means that both players on the left side and both players on the right side need to stand in red circles. At around 95 bars, find cuckoo mechanic begins. Seven playing cards appear on the table and cuckoo is hiding underneath one of those cards. One player will have a target above their head, which means that Sadon will use hammer on that targeted player. When the hammer hits the board, the card underneath will flip alongside the card to the left and card to the right of it. From that you will need to determine if Cuckoo is hiding under any of those three cards. The goal is to have Sadon hit the card that Cuckoo is hiding under. You have three chances to find Cuckoo before it's a team wipe. The way you do this mechanic is to narrow down all the possibilities by first standing on the card number 2 or a card number 6. If Cuckoo is under one of the side cards, simply target that card next. If Cuckoo is not on the first 3 cards, you stand on the other initial card position, so either card number 2 or card number 6 depending which one you did first. If Cuckoo is not on those 3 cards either, then the only remaining position he can be is the card number 4, so your last third attempt should be on the card number 4. In this case, cards 5, 6 and 7 didn't show Cuckoo, but after hitting card number 2, you can see on the card number 3 that Cuckoo was hiding there. Around 75 bars, maze mechanic starts with the cutscene. Players will teleport into a maze while Puppet appears in the middle. The player who destroys the puppet becomes the eyes and will be able to see the whole map. The other three players will gain a card symbol above their head with different colors. These players must kill three puppet soldiers that appear on the map with that same card symbol. After a short time, a symbol will appear on the map and all three players must reach that to complete the mechanic and exit the maze. There are two ways to do this mechanic. The intended way is that the eyes player will have to navigate each player by telling them how many rows and columns to move up or down until they reach their puppet. Or you can simply cheese it. The ice player simply uses discord screen share and other 3 players will know exactly where their puppet is located instantly. You have 2.5 minutes to complete this mechanic. At around 55 bars, pizza mechanic begins. This is almost exactly the same principle as Valganos pizza. Two stars will appear next to Cuckoo, one on each side. These stars will rotate either clockwise to the right or counterclockwise to the left. They will rotate briefly before they disappear and a new set of stars will appear. There are three sets of stars that rotate 
and each rotation tells you in which direction you should move following the pizza mechanic. There are 3 full rotations, so you have to move into a correct pizza position 12 times. The first safe pizza is always at the top, so in this case the 3 rotations were right, right and left. Which means you follow the pizza rotation clockwise 2 times in a row and a third rotation will also start at the top, but then you will move counterclockwise. On the last safe spot, quickly dash out after completing it to avoid AoE damage. If your party is struggling and getting hit a lot during this pizza mechanic, simply use sidereal skill Inanna to help you with the madness meter reduction. At around 30 bars, same fine cuckoo mechanic starts as 110 bars. One player gets targeted by the boss, that player first needs to stand on either card number 2 or card number 6. Hammer will hit the card, also flipping cards on its left and its right. If you spot Cuckoo under one of these cards, next hammer hit, target that card. If you don't spot Cuckoo, then move to the other initial card position, so either 2 or 6, depending which one you did first. If Cuckoo is not under those next 3 cards, then the final hammer hit goes into card number 4, which is the only card that hasn't been flipped. Moving on to Sadon patterns. Red flashes of light means he's doing gaze pattern. Simply look away from him as it will fear you. Eyes will flash red very briefly, he puts his hand on the table and swipes clockwise. If you get grabbed, he starts hitting you with the hammer. Eyes flash red with a yellow line indicator. Dodge it or it will knock you off of the map. Eyes flash red with the yellow indicators on the ground. Dodge it or this will also knock you off of the map. He flips his hat over and summons birds. Move away from the direction of the flying birds. He slams his hammer either two or three times. Yellow circle indicator on the ground indicates that. Dodge to not get knocked off the map. Kuku Seidon Gate 2 has two notable counter opportunities. First one has a very long telegraph so it is easy to predict. Kuku throws hammer to the side, does a handstand, then transitions onto all four, turning blue and moves forward. Failure to counter means he moves to the targeted player, if he hits the player he then applies fear, if he misses the player he does another dash. Counter 2 requires fast reaction time as there is no notable telegraph. Failure to counter means he does a spin moving forward. Moving on to notable patterns. Cuckoo vanishes and towers appear. White AoE tower reduces madness meter, red deals damage and increases madness meter. If a white tower spawns in a good position that is close to you, stand in it. If a white tower spawns further away, you can try and attempt to reach it, but you might have not enough time. In that case, the safe spot is at the bottom edge of the board with the furthest possible distance between two red towers. Circus Ball's pattern has two variants. Cuckoo throws his weapon away, jumps backwards on a circus ball and flies upward. He swings back and forward and drops circus balls two times on players. He appears on the same location he vanished from. In a second variant, he vanishes, reappears on one of the side and flies on a rope. Circus balls then appear, starting from the side he ropes away from. He then reappears on the opposite side of the board. Both of these patterns are good for Ninevi if you can time it correctly. He grabs cannon and charges laser targeting one player. In other variant, he can grab an RPG that targets player, launching grenades, then follows up with a triple grenade in a cone. And in a second RPG variant, he follows up with the targeted grenades. The boss starts playing trumpet, pointing up. Three variants are possible. Yellow ring appears that starts either far away from the boss, moving in, or yellow ring that starts close to the boss, moving out. In both of these variants, the safe spot is always near the boss. He can also do a mini pizza trumpet, which means you just need to run around him and dodge the pizza attack. He smashes hammer backward, then AoEs appear in the line going out. He then smashes hammer forward and those same AoEs happen in a line as well. And this covers absolutely everything for Cuckoo Seidon Gate 2. I hope you learned something and you can clear Gate 2 with ease. If you have any questions or concerns about any of the mechanics, please let me know in the comments. Special thanks to MaxRow for letting me use their footage and clips for this video. Thank you for watching, stay safe 
and as always, I'll see you in the next one.